Uh, we're glad to have our friend, Lieutenant Roy Fisher from the Salvation Army here and uh, a friend of the station, really a friend of the community too. Uh, Lieutenant Fisher, thank you for being here. Always good to see you. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. The Angel Tree Program is a tradition of the holidays that uh, I don't know how long it's been going on, but it's, it's been around for a while, a special program, one of many uh, that the Salvation uh, Army does, one that uh, I participated in and a lot of folks uh, are uh, tell us about it and know it's, it's time <laughs> for it. It is, right? It is. We're, we're actually just finishing up this week with our Angel Tree applications okay. on Wednesday and Thursday in Newton and Neshoba counties. We're finished in Lauderdale and Kemper counties, but you were talking about not knowing how long the program's been around. The Angel Tree program actually started in 1979 oh, in wow. Kentucky and by Salvation Army, Salvation Army officers there who couldn't afford to get toys and stuff for the kids for Christmas. And so they created the program and it's been around ever since and going strong. And so it's, it's a great program that we have because there's so many families that can't afford no. Christmas for their, eh, for their kids. This year we've also added again our senior angels. So we've done up from zero to 12 years old and then 60 and above as well. And so as of right now, we have 561 angels that have been processed and we still have two more days to take so we're last year we did 602 this year i anticipate we're going to have closer to seven 725 angels oh wow so there's still time i mean you you need to get out there on that so what's how how's the best way that folks can do this like i said for lauderdale and kipper county unless it's a dire emergency like just losing their job or something like that uh, the program, the signups are over. Okay. We did that for two weeks. Okay. It had been online for over a month. You. Okay. But we do still have appointments. I think Neshoba County appointments are full. And it, we also have on Thursday in Newton County. And okay. we still have appointments for Newton County. And so we still have, we still have to go and take those applications. So that process is over. The fun part, if you do get an angel, it's so fun to go out and shop and everything like that. We're going to ask uh, Lieutenant Fisher to stay with us. Other programs as well, we're going to talk about that. It's, it's almost bell ringing time. There's so much <laughs> going on and how much uh, that you can help to uh, spread cheer across uh, this community. Uh, we'll have that and more coming up after the break, but first... Welcome back in, everyone. Lieutenant Roy Fisher is here with the Salvation Army, continuing to talk about a number of things, but specifically the Angel Tree program, which has been around. I didn't for Citizens National Bank been been with you guys over a quarter of a century. That is amazing. It is. Um, even before we started banking with them, they were wow. sponsoring our program, and it's been phenomenal. It's grown every year, and we can't be more pleased and and more blessed to have the partnership of Citizens National Bank. They host our annual um, kickoff, which is going to be on November 1st. Okay. It's more of a media event type thing. Yeah. And then that is also the first day that the angels go out. November 1st. That's November 16 first days away. Day. <laughs> wow. 16 days. Okay. And so they'll be at all of the Citizens National Banks on November 1st, as well as Meridian Uptown Mall. They'll be there. And then on November 18th, they'll start showing up at the Super Walmarts um, in Meridian, as well as Newton and Philadelphia. And this is a great opportunity for churches to get involved. We have companies like Atlas Roofing has agreed to take angels this year. We have Rush Hospital takes angels every year. We have churches and Sunday school classes that take angels every year. Wow. And it's a great opportunity. And it's also a great opportunity for families to teach their kids about the spirit of giving mm -hmm. and just going and grabbing that angel off of the tree and mm -hmm. being able, maybe they can find one their child's age and let the child go because they're gonna know more of what this, of what this child that's on the angel will want. And so it's a great way for it to teach that whole sense of community and giving back to the community. So it's awesome. November 1st today, November 18th. Got about 20 seconds with you. What else do we need to know? Come out and support us. And if you want to adopt angels, give us a call at our office at 601-483-6156. And we can get you those anytime you want them, even now. And you're going to brighten up a lot of Christmases for kids who wouldn't have enough and for some seniors here and you're going to feel good about it. It's a win-win. So, it is. Tenant Fisher, thank you. Always great to see you and thank you for the work that you're doing in the community. Thank you so much for all that you do. We appreciate it. Now,